Hey guys, I think I'm live. Just let me know if there's any troubles hearing me or anything. Hi Emily. I don't know why I'm zooming in. I'm sat really close, but I think I will zoom in actually, just in case. Right, let's get everything sorted. Sorry, things are a little bit darker in the office at the minute. I'm still trying to get the hang of my lighting and I'm not saying I'm having much luck at the minute but I'm trying to get it where there's not loads of stuff reflected the only downside is my eyesight sorry really noisy printer that's the best I'm going to get it in all fairness no, it shines directly as much as I like the big light on. It gives me really bad glare. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Erica. I'm, I am assuming it's in focus. I think we are. If I'm squinting, it's because I've got this bloody grey LED light right in front of my face, um, which is really quite annoying. But it's the only bit of light I seem to be able to get in here at the minute where it doesn't um, totally glare. I really need to get myself organised with some soft boxes and stuff, but... Um, okay, I've just done a quick share. I may also be a little bit quieter than normal. I have a really yucky headache and I know that it's uh, migraine onset because the light alone is just mucking about with my head. So that's going to be fun. What? Since when? It's not letting me share to Facebook. Okay, that's a new one on me. Right, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to get everything sorted out. Cara's watching with me at the moment. Uh, hi, Cara. Okay, I'm just going to crack on. Um, I, I've done a little bit extra on his eye because I wanted to even them out a bit. Oh, what's all that light? Um, I don't know how much we're going to get done and I am quite tempted actually to bring out the pan pastel for all of the shading underneath. So I think I'm going to work on the mouth area and get the nose finished. And then I can um, sort of get my head round. Uh, doing the bottom part because the bottom bottom part is actually quite solid in colour. Oh, what's that from? Hmm. I have to be careful. I've just seen. I think it's marker. I don't think it's coming off. No. So how's everybody doing? I take it you can hear me okay? You normally let me know if you can't.
so quiet and peaceful. Hey, uh, are you alright? Right, let's just get some oh, to meet my eye. Let's move that coffee first. Up the way. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it onto tonight's live feed because um, Amelie's. I'm hearing things. Amelie's got a wobbly tooth. I'm seeing things as well now. God. Um, and with her sensory difficulties, having a wobbly tooth isn't having a wobbly tooth for her. It's hell on earth. Um, so we've been having a lot of issues. So we thought we'd try the dentist and maybe see if he could take it out. But as soon as he tried going in with the uh, needle, of course, she panicked. So we didn't get very far. So she's she's suffering a bit at the minute i wish she would just like chomp into a sandwich but she just won't We have a feeling that for if any work needs doing in the future that um, she would actually have to be referred to be sedated. See okay can't you? It's not too bad hopefully. Um, next week I'm not 100% sure what's going on because the funeral is on Wednesday next week. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not 100% sure what's happening at the moment. Um, we've tried numb and gel with her before and she didn't like the sensation at all and she could just completely freaked. Um, but because of the size of the tooth, it wasn't a tiny tooth. It, it needed a um, it needed a proper injection. My pad is on silent, believe it or not. But you've probably just heard it go off, so apologies about that. can't see a huge amount of detail on this side of the face at all really but I want to give him some bit of detail just to match it up when I do the other side do you deal with many like that Erica he said he's only successfully managed to um, do an injection on one um, who has similar issues to Amelie um, but everyone else he's had to refer because he's just had no luck It is horrible as well because she keeps um, she keeps hitting it every time she sort of chews on something. She did this with the last tooth and she hung on to the last tooth for nearly two and a half months because she refused to let anyone go near it. 
in the end she um she put herself to bed smacked her face with the quilt as she was pulling it up and ended up knocking it out herself so here's hoping she can do something similar this time <laughs> I'm tempted to put some whiskers in that side, but I can't even see like a reflection of a whisker. So annoying you can't have music on in the background when you're doing these lives on YouTube. Well done on your doggy Joe come out quite cute isn't he yeah exactly yeah absolutely let me see if I can get you see how far we can get you how's that Oh, I lost my eraser. There's that one. Where's my normal one? I've been doing so many drawings. I've been doing, um, I've probably zoomed in too far now, but I've been doing Harry Potter for Madison. Um, and then Emily wanted me to do uh, whatever his name is. What's his name? Draco. That's the one. Um, so I've been doing them lately on a TikTok live feeds. My pleasure. Yeah, I mean, that's um, her dentist or our dentist is absolutely brilliant when it comes to things like that. He's always said, you know, I mean, when we were up there, I was like, you're in control. You know, if you don't want it done, you don't want it done. But what would you prefer? Because all she's done is complained about the fact that it's still there. So it's like, well, what one do you want? So it's just been really tricky for everybody, actually, because it's poor old Moose doesn't know what to do. I'm just pulling down from underneath where I put the dots. What this does is it helps you give you this depth of it slightly i keep looking right into those lights slightly layering um because you get those sort of indents and in that where the hairs come out so it's a good way of just doing that so you sort of start from here and then stop when you get to here
So did many of you have it in, um, have end up, wow, that's really good English there. Um, did many of you have anybody end up knocking on your door for Halloween? Oh, that's a really lovely idea. Maybe we're in with the wrong one then. I think this doggo is probably one of the only doggos I've used the least amount of colours in. Really? Hi, Evie. Yeah, he's uh, he was really, really cute. I liked that cushion. It was a really nice cushion to have it on as well. Yeah, we had we had one person knock, and we had um, we dressed up our pumpkin to oh, probably bad taste, but we dressed it up to look like a COVID virus thing. And we had a note on the door saying that we weren't gonna. Um, accept any trick or treaters this year because of it and um, yeah still managed to get somebody knock on the door Smooth that bit out a little bit. Just to give him a bit of shape across his muzzle. All oh, right. Well, we normally um, there's a there's about I don't know five houses that bother doing you know just having like pumpkins outside the house opposite does do a little bit um and they're really sweet they've got quite an amazing really tall pumpkin actually um but we're probably the only house on our street that really make an effort and we we try and outdo the scares every year so like last year i think our record was something like 11 kids ended up in tears i know that sounds really cruel doesn't it but you know it's halloween We did scare quite a lot of people. Just going to pull up into the mouth underneath so it creates a few hairs that will look like it's sitting over the mouth. Just making sure I'm going in the right direction hoping that's good enough to see on camera. Just change direction as we get down here. Oh, yeah, it's not nice when you don't have any. God, ours are on all night. We've got stupid little LED ones, so they're really bright.
Oh, here we go. Now they're all going to start talking about what they're snacking on. No fair. Right, let's grab all my darker grey so we're not keep going over with the blues. But I don't want to go too dark at the moment. Blend them all together. I think it's four I'm using, Cold Grey four. Might even be five. Most of the um, wordings disappeared. Make it a little bit darker on the dots. Sorry, it's not very informative, but you're always welcome to ask questions as always. Just going in the opposite direction just to soften the fur strokes. up here to hurt to be a bit darker I don't think let's have a quick look as I've done that off camera sorry no worries Okay, I think looking at the reference, this bit here, we need to just try and even out a little bit. That's a bit better. Hoping that light's reflecting, but I'm fairly happy with that so far. Just want to even in these highlights are a bit too strong. You can still see the dots enough, so I'm happy with that. 
Where did you send it? On on Insta. to email the school today to try and get Maddie um, certified with an exemption card because of her skin condition um, because they've been told from tomorrow they have to wear um, masks inside the classroom as well um, yes I believe so uh, 4pm UK time till 6 p.m. Of course, I was hoping hubby was going to take the girls to grandma's. Can't do that now. Um, so I'm just keeping everything crossed that they stay out of the room. I'm going to bring the keys in with me. I'm actually going to lock the office door. I think that's the only way I can guarantee it. But as long as there's no screamy abdabs and she's not yelling the house down, then um, I think we'll be all right. But it always makes me nervous when I'm having to do that type of thing. And I know that I'm not completely on my own in the house. But I don't want to keep turning down opportunities to do stuff like this because it's exciting. How many times do I get to do this? So I can't keep turning people down. definitely need to even this side of the face although it still needs to be fairly light So probably this side I'll keep similar, but I don't want it to be too light. I don't know if you guys remember the reference, um, but it was quite strong on light in one side, on one side, and quite strong on the darks on the other side. Sorry guys, it's so quiet tonight, isn't it? Apologies. You can tell I'm in the zone. I have a really, really exciting portrait coming up. Um, in fact, I have two. They're not commissions, but... Um, I was asked to draw an eye where half of his eye is blue and half of his eye is brown. Um, so it's not like one whole eye is brown, one high, whole eye is blue. It literally is half and half down the middle of his pupil. Um, so I have said yes, because I just think that would be an incredible one to draw. Um, and then I came across this guy on TikTok and um, most of you that have followed me for some time are aware of Amelie's birthmarks and although she doesn't have vitiligo she still has the one that has no pigments there's patches of her skin that have absolutely zero pigment um, and this guy popped up who has vitiligo and 
because he's got this account to raise awareness, he basically got a black pen and he drew around all the patterns that the vitiligo had made. And I thought, I've got to draw. I've always wanted to do it, but never really knew who I could approach. So I thought, I've got to draw that. And he's he's allowed me, so... I'll do a mix of that on a live feed on on, on YouTube as well as on um, TikTok as well because I would like maybe to go through the tutorial because he's a dark-skinned man so he's got the white vitiligo with his dark skin so I think actually it's probably quite a good way to um, cover the skin tones with you guys. So I will do my best to do most of those on live feed spread over here and on TikTok. Um, the tutorial that's being released this Friday is a full-blown one-hour tutorial and it is the butterfly one. The patrons would have already done it um, because they obviously had access to all of my previous tutorials. Um, God, I can't do about that nose. Um, but essentially I thought I'd start off with a semi simple tutorial to start you off with because not everybody wants to sit there through six hours worth of um, tutorials um, so yeah if for those of you I don't even know if have any of you actually done it third direction needs changing slightly I think we seem to be curving more than we are Well, it'll be out. It, it will be released this Friday on the channel. And the line work is in my Facebook albums. Um, so I've tried to give it access to as many people as I can. Uh, what did I do? There it is right there, right in front of me. I'll make sure I've still got... Am I still zoomed in enough? Do you want me to zoom back right in or is this enough? Just blending it all now with this grey. I think a lot of people get worried about blending fur like this and that they're going to lose all their fur strokes but it's no different to sort of glazing over the top. It really can make it all very soft and um, thicker looking when you do it in this way.
What am I missing? Yeah, I do honestly think that that is a lot of people's concerns. But, I mean, it depends on the style that you want to achieve. But, um, you know, it's it's very rare that you see anything in, in high definition. Um, and I think as long as you use a complementary colour to blend it, it shouldn't look muddy. Um, it smudges it, which is what you want it to do. And I think that is probably what people refer to more as muddy than anything else. More sort of smudgy, I guess. Um, but, you know, if you think about when you look at an animal, you don't ever really see every single fur stroke. So to blend it in between the layers just helps soft, soften it. And it gives you that weave in between the layers that gives you the depth um, to make it look soft and fluffy. Um, and then that way it gives you much more of a, a natural look, in, in my opinion. But it really depends because some people don't like to blend like that at all. Um, but for me personally, I find it gives a bit more of a natural appearance rather than it looking like he's literally just stepped out of a salon. I mean, if, if I was to draw it like the reference, it would just be completely smooth because there is so little detail there. I have a feeling I put my darkest, darkest grey away. dark sepia it's too brown <sighs> stick what i'm doing i think so like under here when i want it nice and smooth i'm just going to start blending in different directions just to try and smooth out the fur detail a little bit because for me, I just find it unrealistic when you can see literally every single first stroke. You know, when you can get this soft blend here, it looks so much more natural. Sorry, my hair's really irritating me and I've got nothing to put it up with. I don't know why I have hair. I should just... Um make it really short and then hubby can call me all the jokey names that he called me last time I had my hair cut short hi Kyan I've got a stinky headache but I'm okay Definitely, definitely do um, light layers first, most definitely. Um, I also think it's much harder, I don't know where my cleaning brush is, it's also much harder to try and add highlights onto dark. So if you want to add highlights and you're working with your darks, just leave negative space, it's the easiest way to do it. Have you decided what Christmas card design you're going to do? Right, I need to finish this. Then I am going to use the... Um, oh, God. Pan pastel. My head doesn't want to function today. I'll try and get a bit of a better view for you without the light beaming straight on it, but... really hard to find out. I'm pretty sure I had it tipped that way last time. Just trying a different... That's a bit better, I think. Yeah, that's a bit better. Emily, did you just swear at me? Tut, tut, tut. 
he thought you wouldn't like them. Oh, make all the fireworks. I want to make that eye. I keep looking at that eye. I want to make it more brown. I just think it's too orange. Although it is that light in the reference, as I say, I want to even everything up. That's better. Hey, that'd be cool. Who, 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 oh, who, who? Marcus actually are really, really popular. Um, I think they're quite a good beginner marker when you are sort of starting out. Just realise there's something going on here, and I don't know what. I cannot get this lighting right. Everything's just glaring off at me. even that up a bit okay let's try and figure this bit out that's the light that's the light dark so that is this bit here so this is semi dark there's like a real black area here real dark shadow here i will i promise i just i don't know what's going on with me at the minute but i literally have a drawer full of prizes to give away and I don't seem to be able to get my arse in gear and get them on to do it. I don't know why. I just can't. I don't know. Do you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's set a date, right? So there is one running on TikTok at the moment. I am, what date are we today? We're the 4th. So, look, I'm trying to be organised here. Um, so, we're the fourth now. Right, Coffee Man. Can you make sure tomorrow I film a video to do the giveaway on YouTube? Film giveaway on YouTube, yeah. YouTube giveaway film. There you go, it's written in there. Then Wednesday, I will post a group giveaway. And then the Wednesday after that, I will post a Facebook giveaway. So in the group, I'll probably put two or three prizes up to grabs because, as I say, I literally have an entire draw. Um, it's going to have to be UK only because of postage costs. <laughs> Well, don't do anything, Emily, because you might win one of the giveaways. So let's see how that goes. So I've got it written down here. I will get it done. I will. <laughs> Someone come and kick me up the backside, please. I'm doing, yeah, the, the giveaway on my TikTok is when I reach 90,000 followers, um, I will be giving away a set of aqua markers and my kit. And then when I reach 100,000 followers on TikTok, I'll be actually giving away a portrait. Um, so that'll be cool. So if you're watching this later on, and you don't follow me on TikTok already, come find me. Right, 
this needs evening out so the shadow here so this needs bringing down to flatten this shape so this side part of the head seems to come a bit more down and then it divots in where his um, jawbone is Gonna see how the little one's doing in a minute. It's ten to nine. Start blending her food up and putting it through a straw. <laughs> help to even that area out like so I keep looking over to the um where i'm recording see how bright that light is can't you um oh that's yeah that's better that's flattening that area a bit which is what we want we wanted that to be a bit more consistent and then i actually want to extend this highlight out a bit so i'm going to grab my cold gray one and I don't want to use white, I'm just going to use one. But if you see, I'm blending over the whole lot. And I guess what could be considered as muddy doesn't look muddy. It just looks like the shadow is softening out. I don't know if I'm missing loads of comments or it's just generally really quiet. Apologies if I am. I'm just going to go and check. I don't think I am. Something, something's not. Hi, Jake. I don't know what's happening then it is super quiet isn't it that's better oh, he's just got such a beautiful face he really has Okay, I can finish the neck bit off, I think, once I get the underneath done it. <laughs> That's true. Where is Rob? So I'm going to pan past all the bottom. Most of you are familiar with this. If anybody isn't and you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Please don't be shy to come and pop on to comments. Um, everyone's really, really lovely. I can see that there's a few people watching, but not everybody's commenting. But it's fine if you don't want to. But if you have any questions about pan pastel... Um, but it's basically soft pastel put in um, almost like a, a blush palette, I suppose. Um, and they're great for people like me who really 
do heave when they touch pastel pencils. Um, as much as I love the pastel pencil overall, it isn't one that makes me feel too great. So it's really a good way of filling in larger areas that need a lot of colour. In this case, he does. There's absolutely zero detail in here. Even when I've gone into Photoshop and brightened it, there's no details in there. In fact, I could probably get my blue out as well and get some blue in there to keep the tonal value correct or the hues correct. Um, I appear to have a cat on my desk. What are we doing, Safi? Hey, young lady. What are you up to? Hmm? What are you up to, young lady? Oh, both the same. So I'm going to leave the highlights as negative space. So any white hair as negative space. So going over with the blue just helps the colour match in a bit better. Okay, so that's got a lot of the base work done. Really could do with finding my brush right now. I have absolutely no idea where it's gone. disappeared to okay I'm gonna get a clean bit of kitchen roll I'm gonna use that to blend out the bottom hey is it jarred is that how you want it pronounced on here how are you feeling I bet it's all a bit strange, isn't it? Right, I can go into the white areas because they're not really white, they're more of a grey. I'm just going to go around and just take out the line work that's there. Yeah, I bet. If 
first set you've ever had, I take it. Okay, let's protect the paper. I'll give everything a clean up near the end. Well, I'm glad it went okay. Okay, let's. The thing is, if I do this on the live, it's just going to be really tedious for you guys. I'm really worried it's well let's just crack on let's just it is pretty much solid color I guess I could show you how to layer it to make it more solid hi Donna He's getting there and look how close we are. Dun, 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 not much more. Um, it all officially starts tomorrow, but of course schools are still open anyway. So um, I guess for me, it's not going to make much of a difference, but... I do have a, a feeling though that it, it, it is going to go beyond December. I have made the decision this year that I am not going to worry about Christmas food um, or presents for anybody other than the girls. Me and hubby aren't going to worry about getting something for each other. If we do, it will just, I don't know, probably be something to do with Warcraft, a mount or pet or something. But... Um, you know i'm not i'm not getting involved in all these stupid christmas rushes that are going to happen it's just one christmas i know it's not the same for other people but you know for us that is the case Well, I have to make sure under the neck here is darker than the edge of his mouth. That's how dark this side is. Didn't he do a live the other day or something? I think I missed it. What I am doing is I am going in what would roughly be the direction of his fur just so when I come to then layer any black on top it will give the illusion that there is some detail there without actually having to add any. Hi Georgina. Just realised I didn't soften around here. Dropping pencils now. Okay. 
just doing a little bit of detail on the edge here where it comes out into the bit that fades out then what I'll do is I'll eventually come out with a lighter pencil and then I'll just blend that on top and that will soften that out and it just helps with the transition I find trans transitions for coloured pencil um, a little bit trickier than it is with graphite it's cause graphite you can just blend out Yeah, I might do that. I might, yeah, I'm going to blend out with the white as well just to really smooth it as much as I can. <laughs> There's nothing more annoying than when you um, are watching a film or something. And there's always that quiet bit and you're like nibbling on a bit of popcorn or crisps or something and then like you're getting really annoyed you just can't hear anything but it chewing in your ear rolls i'm one of those that get really irritated with chewing noises including my own I need to get you can see how similar they are in shade I need to get this much darker than this I'm gonna bring that up so I don't smudge too much I don't know what the rules are about going to the post office. Don't they do a collection service now? And you, have a good night. And have a good day tomorrow as well. <laughs> go that's what I wanted that difference between you know when I've often said about making sure you go dark enough if you don't go dark enough it's not going to pull that forward and that's what you want you are lucky Rob isn't here I think you would have walked straight into that one
<laughs> Have you ever dyed rice before? You could do that with her for sensory play. I'll tell you what, actually, obviously you can't do it now, but whenever they have clearance at B&Q, I sometimes get like the pound rolls of wallpaper. Um, so like when my niece is round, I can literally roll that out on the ground, give her pens and she'll just colour it to her heart's content. Um, but you can do that and the kids can walk along it and hand print and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know if you've done anything like that with her. Uh, da -da -da -da, maybe some salt dough decorations. Oh, lost my reference. Oh, where did you go? There you went. Where we can't have a Christmas tree up now, about the middle of the month, I think we've decided we're going to get the Christmas decorations down now. The Christmas tree we have, we've had since the year 2000. Yeah. Was, wasn't it? 99. We moved in in 99. So, yeah, year 2000. So, yeah, 20 years old. <laughs> um, but it's done us well but where we can't have a christmas tree up anymore purely because of space where we've decorated the um the fireplace wall um or the chimney wall i should say chimney breast, chimney breast yes as we don't actually have a proper fireplace I'm going to get a large piece of wood and from the tree branches that we put on the tree we're going to take them all off and I'm going to make um, starting from as usual the I'm really making loads of sense today from the small to the big and then we're going to have like effectively what would be a half Christmas tree hanging from the wall and then that way we can still have the lights and the decorations and stuff up. Because we've always had it against the wall, we've never really had the back branches on um, the bottom half of it anyway. So I took those off and made like a garlandy type thing to go in the door and um, in the kitchen. So I'm just going to play on that idea really. Then that way we're not losing any floor space either. Try my best not to not to touch the portrait with my hand. Over with the blue in a moment. Catch up. Grab 
some of that fall out. Ah, there you go, perfect. Again, I need to make under his chin area much darker. That way it pulls all of that face forward. I would have been here so much longer if I hadn't used that pan pastel on the base. Last question. Where was your last question? Hang on, I'm just reading up. Oh, it's your Instagram. You can do what you like with it. It's not about getting sympathy, is it? It's about telling your story. to you what you want to post there not anybody else I'm just with the black adding the fur um, because when I come to do the lighter side, it definitely needs to match up. Um, and he's looking so floofy and lovely that I think it just works. I don't know how much of a delay there is between I did delay none. I don't know what's going on there then. I saw, yeah. Emily says hi. Hello. He waved. Air flaps. <laughs> I heard a wave. Right, let's get under that mouth. And then I can figure out how dark I need to go on his chops if I need to go any darker.
Right, I'm going to zoom you right out just so you can get an idea. Well, I say zoom right out. That's sort of as far as I'm going to be able to go by the looks of it. But it gives you an idea so far. Oh, that face is just so scrumptious. See what I mean about just not panicking too much about having every first stroke showing because you just simply don't need it once you get into the techniques of using your pencils in such a way that you i mean you just don't need to it's really annoying me i can't find my brush no idea where it's gone i have three of the damn things and they always go missing right over there there we go I think we're going to get it finished now. I don't know if you're still watching Donna or Jake, but um, I think we're going to get it finished. I just don't know what's going to happen with postage. That's my only concern. What happened today? <laughs> don't drop your phone. Yeah, don't drop your phone. You can't blame me if you do. Okay, so I'm going to use the Payne's Grey to build up where we came come out into sort of the highlights of the... I'm not even sure. They're not really white patches of fur, I don't think. Because isn't he... He's all jet black, isn't he? I think it's really just where the light's hitting. So I want to even that out a little bit more. I'm just going to pencil in some detail that we've got down the bottom here. Oopsie daisy. How can they expect you to use printer paper and produce really good results? You've just reminded me, I need to check if my eldest has got art tomorrow. Make sure she goes with the right folders. What I'll do is I'll do a bit of investigating because I I pay for everything online via the Royal Mail website. So I can get it all packaged and paid for and everything. It's just a case of whether we're allowed to drop off, I guess. Um, I'll do a click and collect now. Yeah, I don't know if they're trialling it here. Oh, I don't... 
yeah i don't know whether the click and collect is what um worldwide um oh whatever the word is i'm trying to think Easy Parcel Collection Service. I'll open that up so I can have a look. I'll have a look at that later. His white patch was further down. Oh, okay. So is it like here? Because I can see that he's got like a white patch there. Hang on. Let me go back onto the... Oh, I see right under his tummy. It is just reflection. Okay. So we can actually play with making that a bit darker. And then that would even all of the lighting issues out. So that's good. that as well i've got an edit up crate video as well to do i'll have to have a day of filming and editing tomorrow i do yeah it's just so much easier because of my etsy shop where i'm getting four or five orders at a time and then i don't get anything and plus our post office is a drive away and i don't drive so i keep having to rely on when coffee man is home um so it's easier for me to just pay for everything and then he can literally drop it in the post box and that includes international orders as well People are supposed to be. I was so annoyed. I spent three lessons. Oh no! Did you push a little bit hard on your pencil? Go on, be honest. I don't think facing the wall is enough, Rob. I think you need to go make everyone a cup of coffee. Another cup of coffee would be grand right now. Hint, hint. Big hint. No, <gasps> Did you? Not that loud. Is it because I didn't ring the coffee bell? I literally just made where's mine then oh yeah Tubby's making it now thanks <laughs> could you give it a little scrub around Pardon? the sides are sort of like an inch thick now and texture <laughs> I'm layering up oh shush your noise <laughs> sarcasm will get you nowhere and the cold old blue brown there. shut up Coffee is most definitely a black and a dark sepia. It's taking the mickey out of me now. Thank you, Rob. Do you want to see what I've been doing on my TikTok lives, Rob? By um, request. This is for Amelie. So he's done. Um, I want to darken him, but Amelie won't let me, so I'm not allowed to touch it anymore. Oh dear. That's so frustrating, isn't it? Um, and then this one is for Madison. Was he still a work in progress? I've got to sort the nose out. The nose sticks out a little bit more than it should for some reason. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been a little busy bee. I am still pretty amazed that at in art class that they're giving you printer paper to draw on.
So I'm still going to keep it light as reflective, but it it just looks like a white patch of fur. So I'm really tempted to go a lot darker than it is on the reference. Because his white patch isn't until you get down to his tummy. Thank you, mister. Did you? I knew you did a live and I totally didn't get the chance to come on. Is it still up? I'll go and have a watch later. You've got to be careful, mister. You take him down. Or demonetised, I should say. I don't think they take them down anymore. I just always revert back to Big Brother whenever I think I'm alive and you shouldn't say the words mm -mm -mm. just reminds me of the Mickey take of that if anybody remembers that yeah I'm better with that it looks more like a highlight now rather than a white patch are you not allowed to take your own stuff in? Gonna blend that with the darkest of my greys. So it still looks highlighted, but it's not too. You right? Mhm. Mm Why did you say coffee come off and I'll have a battery? Oh, okay. Overwatch. Yeah, or that other movie or something. Quite fun. Oh, I've put something on Netflix for us to watch. Uh, I think I saw it, I can't remember. The Something Assassin. Oh, yes, the Kung Fu Yankee. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Action. <laughs> See, that's a technical term. Look at his little face, look. I know. Isn't he gorgeous? I just want to give you squeegees. I don't know if you want to get him. Black it does make me want to go to Black Labrador. Can we have a Black Labrador? As long as they stay puppy form. Oh. They do miniature ones. Where did you do the light? On YouTube. You did... I was going to swear then. You did well to get 60 people watching. Oh, don't blame you. Apple juice. <laughs> yeah, um, my girls' school has completely... Uh, they're waiting on an entire pencil set. I'm glad I didn't buy them, to be honest. It would have saved me a lot of money, if in all fairness, because um, I did have to go and buy most of the stuff she needed because I didn't have the specific ones. And it would have been cheaper to have bought it direct from the school. But they're still not, um, they still haven't got all the supplies. So I'm glad I did actually end up purchasing for her. A few things I had at home, but there was a specific set. I don't know why. They, they probably didn't need that specific set, but I probably could have gone with what I had at home. But, you know, when you first start big school and stuff, it's nice for her to have her own little kit that's nice and fresh and new.
do like the way that blend out's working. Nice. Well done. It's more than I get. You should be mega proud. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to even up the highlights on this side because it's just... Yeah, I want to make him as, as smooth and as even as possible. To change direction, I think, on that one. Go that way. And then we've got to go that way. So we've got a couple of directions going on there. Again, down and around. I quite honestly have a feeling that when the new tutorials come round, um, my channel stats are just going to flop completely. Um, yeah, I think... As much as people keep saying they want tutorials, they won't sit there through an entire tutorial. So depending on how it goes, it will depend on how many I end up uploading. Well, then you should be even, even, even more proud of yourself. The thing is, is what with what you do, it's a really interesting thing to watch. To see it all come together and develop. It's quite a satisfying thing to watch. You should try your hand at posting some mini videos to TikTok because you'll be surprised how many go viral. Oh, that's cute. Sorry, I'm not looking up much because the light is literally right next to the webcam. So it's just hurting my eyes every time I look up. I need to get a soft box on it, really. I mean, it's got a soft filter on it, but 
when you get a headache like this most you know it gets really light sensitive intro videos are always good I am absolutely useless at calligraphy absolutely useless I envy anybody that can do it Are you doing calligraphy or hand script because they're two slightly different things I learned that the other day I'm really missing some music on in the background right now. There's some quite good um, blogs out there as well that give you like free worksheets and stuff. I, I joined one two years ago and I never did finish it. Please don't watch my life. I look, sound like a girl instead of a five, but you don't. Everyone hates their voice when they hear themselves. I think it's quite a natural thing. I was really surprised how easily Amelie fell back into school after half term. I was expecting that to be quite a hardship.
Well, even if you did fail at those, it sounds like it was quite a productive live feed. Yes, um, uh, if you're talking about me, uh, yeah, she's the one I joined. She had a Facebook group and everything about two years ago and you sort of did like daily, daily practice sheets and challenges and things like that. Oh, honestly, he's just the most adorable thing. I think he's just got the most gentle face that's probably the best way that i you know the feelings that i get from it just got this incredible gentle face like a you know a real companion Oh my god, you you don't even know what <laughs> just Okay. So the story goes We hang it up. I bought the equipment from B Q to hang it up so it's in the joist of the ceiling because we wanted it in the sitting room, not in the bedroom, because they just don't have the room. And there were two size sets of screws that I bought some long ones and some short ones anyway boys and their toys decided that he was going to use his like super powerful drill and the way that these particular screws work is they have like a metal um wall plug that squeezes down as you screw the screw um and it pinches against whatever it's doing then they're normally meant for hollow walls but um and where they'd gone up so quick, it hadn't quite pinched. So, what's the matter? Dee Dee? Is she alright? Um, 
yeah anyway hubby sat in there with my niece and it fell out the ceiling um so that freaked the bejesus out of her he was the best but could be <laughs> i think they can all be little bleeps actually um yeah we had an, an adorable dog but oh my god she suffered such severe separation anxiety she would destroy the place um so yeah uh so we repaired the ceiling um basically i don't think the screws were long enough so we went with the longer screws that i brought and so far so good so she does really enjoy it and maddie gets something out of it as well and we are now looking into the potential of adhd with her so i think i told you that last week Okay, let's get all the darkest shading in to bring those highlights to the forefront. Just keep an eye out because um, I, I didn't pay to do the paid for course. I just did the freebie. I can't even remember when she did it. Um, whether it was a summer thing or a Christmas thing. I don't actually remember if I'm honest. probably still have the pdf somewhere i just oh, i couldn't get my head around it i'll stick to drawing So it's roughly here we need to get it darker. I'm not going to force the highlight too far forward, um, as I say, because that is all they are. But actually on the reference photo, they look like white patches. But I want to keep him as true to his colours as possible. So if there are no white patches here, I don't want to make it look like it has. I have to say, Donna, I'm really, really grateful for you coming to me to allow me to draw. It, it's such a privilege when people trust you to draw their loved ones or their, their pets. And it's been such a joy getting back into doing a detailed portrait like this again. Can you see how much more natural of a highlight that looks now? Rather than it looking like a white patch, it does look like a proper... Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 
And they're so noisy as well, aren't they, Emily? So it took Emily a few... Um, it took her a couple of days to trust getting back into it. Um, but she, she got there in the end. And she, she does spend quite a while in there. We're waiting for a few other bits to arrive. Yeah, she likes to sit in there with the hamster. You're right, Donna. It, it's been a while, actually, I think. I think it's probably why I don't stick to one style either, because I can find it can get a bit monotonous when you're just doing the same thing day in, day out. And as much as I love drawing realism, you know, it can just get really intense. So I'm really looking forward to doing this eye. I don't want to show you the references. I want them to be a bit of a surprise as I do them. Thank you, Rob. Chuck Norris of pencils, huh? I don't think I want to do much more to him. I really do think that he is... He's there. Possibly the only thing is back here. It's a bit better. So as I mentioned, on Friday there is a full one hour tutorial being released. No, not Friday. Next Friday is a one hour tutorial. This Friday I think it's going to have to be the upgrade unless I do both. But I think because of Monday or yesterday's tutorial plus today, I think Friday is probably best to be the upgrade day. Um, there is another tutorial coming every Monday in the Spectrum series. Um, and I will try and get a vlog up as well. Oh my God, you nearly made me, <laughs> made me spit my coffee out then. Yeah, definitely, Emily. I have done it a couple of times and it really does look lovely. I love that statement. <laughs> I do love how soft this this is down here. I think this is blended out really nicely. I just need to do one more layer to blend that with the white and then I think it's just to sign it.
what the white does as well is it also pushes out any color that you go over the top which really makes the edges even more gentle because you're pushing the color around i guess that's why i like to layer so much because you end up almost painting with pencil There you have it. Let me turn that light off, see if that makes a difference. Jet is done. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Rob. That's... Brush that off. What's my little thing there? I think he's done. I'm really, really pleased with the way that he has come out. Really pleased. I think he's got a beautiful expression on his face. I'm just going to give him a tiny little dust over when I finished the live feed. But other than that, he's done so i'm gonna try and figure out how i can get him posted to you see as soon as we can and I'll, I'll let you know as soon as i find out um but he will definitely be on his way to you before christmas thank you rob thank you erica So happy with how he's come out. I'm glad you like him, Donna. Because as I say, it really, really has been a privilege. And I actually think black dogs are one of the most blooming fun things to draw. They really, really are. Um, now, I'm probably going to say goodbye and everyone's going to go, Oh, where did she go? Because for some reason, the delay is huge between um all of us i've just noticed i actually want to go a little bit darker up here so i'm just going to shade over that and see just think it needs bringing bringing a bit darker yeah that's better No rush, Donna, honestly, just whenever you're ready um, and then I can figure out, obviously, timings and things like that for you. Um, but thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm glad you've enjoyed doing this one and hopefully you've gained some insight and maybe learned a thing or two. Um, I know it's always a bit difficult when I'm doing the same subject over more than one tutorial, but... was it i'd love to show you but all of the all of the images in the series went um straight off to spectrum i'm gonna be right off the edge let me turn you so i don't have to keep looking at that big gleaming light um so yeah all of the i think it was 10 images in total 10 or 11 um they all went off to spectrum for the launch basically and i think it's being used in um, some photo shoots and stuff so i can't show you them unfortunately but um i, I just, it was a bitch to do i have to say it wasn't easy so that was probably the worst tutorial to start off with if i am honest but you will have coming up you've got watercolor poppies a really quick and easy way of doing watercolor poppies you've got a beautiful hair which i think i've shared on my social media you've got some vintage skates there is going to be a video about the tommy shelby digital drawing that i did um there's going to be the graphite lips tutorial which most of you would have seen via the patreon um and a few other bits and this light really really is causing me hassle so i am going to call it a night now guys 
thank you very much for watching have a good morning afternoon whichever it may be where you are watching from and if you're here from my tiktoks i'll see you over on tiktok and facebook groups and all that sort of stuff but anyway um stay safe everybody um please lean on the art family if you are struggling come and find us in the facebook group if you're not already in there um but yeah i shall see you in the next video guys and in the group see you later bye <laughs>